There's one chicken in your backyard. I can't even find it. We'll head around to all the towns. Head away all the day. South Aussie with cars is on. Sit down. South Aussie with cars. G'day, my name's Cozzy and I've got exactly one half of an hour to prove to you that South Australia is the best place in the world to travel. Where do you think we are right now? Have a guess. Flinders Ranges, you might think Narra Court down near the caves. You'd all be wrong unless you said Morialta Falls, which incidentally is only minutes from the CBD. Can you believe we have this basically on our doorstep? Now, we love to find things for you guys to do that are either free or really cheap. I love dispelling the myth that a holiday needs to be expensive. That is a complete lie. We've got a huge show. I'll show you what's coming up here in Morialta shortly. But first up, let's have a look at what's on the show. I'll show you three cracking walks around SA, including Hallett Cove and Brown Hill Creek. We'll tip our hats to the volunteers in SA that look after our natural resources. But first, let's look at one of the fastest growing holidays right here in South Australia, which is camper trailers. Eagle Trailers and Campers have been selling camper trailers in the northern suburbs of Adelaide for years. They're an SA family business and Phil tells us why camper trailer holidays are becoming so popular. Camper trailers are easy. So you can uh, pop them on the back of the car on the Friday night, and head on out to where you want to go and just open her up when you get there. It's easy, fully off-road capable, just simple to use. 20 or 30 years ago, the campers used to be hard to set up. They used to be in cumbersome, but nowadays they're fairly light and easy to manoeuvre around and easy to set up. The Chinook, this is our base starting model. For me, the best thing about this one is the setup time. It only takes approximately five minutes to set up. You can just pull up in the spot you need to get to and then just quickly open her up, extend the poles and that's it. If you're hunting for a camper trailer or you need repairs done to yours, head to Eagle Trailers and Campers on Main North Road, Para Hills West, or check out eagletrailers.com.au. South Aussie with During my travels in South Australia, I find myself constantly marvelling at the beauty and amazed at how well kept the regions of South Australia are. But the reality is that we wouldn't be able to have the places in such beautiful nick without the help from volunteers. So I've dedicated a segment to all of the volunteers in South Australia. I know there's thousands of you, you donate tens of thousands of hours of work, which is worth millions and millions of dollars. So we just want to say thank you. Every year around 7,000 environmental volunteers in the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Ranges region contribute about 140,000 hours of their time to caring for our natural resources. It's valuable time as well, worth around $4 million. Today we are at Swampfest, which is a, a community planning event. Um, we're at Stipiturus Conservation Park on the Flurio Peninsula. Today, uh, natural resources staff are uh, working with uh, volunteers from the community to help uh, protect and restore uh, threatened plant communities. Volunteering in the natural environment creates mutual benefits for both the volunteers and of course the environment. But what's so good about being a volunteer? What's not good about being a volunteer? You get to be out in the outdoors, nice sunny day, great weather, get to put some plants back in and hopefully reap the benefits in a few years. I think it's about the feeling that you get at the end of it, that satisfaction that you've actually contributed back to the environment. The Friends of Hallett Cove Conservation Park were uh, put together in 1987. The area was declared a conservation park in the early 1970s and they had one ranger who looked after the whole area. But uh, it's just too much for one person so all of these parks have their friends groups who do the work. They clean weeds, they plant seedlings, uh, collect seeds and generally keep the place tidy. We try and keep as much 
native vegetation here because we know that developed in this area and therefore can look after itself. You wouldn't be able to achieve what you can achieve without volunteers being involved. They're such an embedded and important um, part of our environment and the way that we work. The Catfish Reach project needs the community. We're driving the community vision. We want to be able to deliver what's important for our community and we need that involvement. So get amongst it and become a volunteer here in South Australia. For more information, head to naturalresources.sa.gov.au. South Australia is famous for its events. There's loads of them all through the year and as a result of that, people are moving in and out of the city to all different functions and so forth. Well, there's something called Uber and if you haven't heard of it before, I will show you the easiest way to get yourself around the city here in South Australia. Okay, I'm here at Wait at the moment and I want to go to the city. It's as easy as this. You flick your phone on. Oh, don't look at my password. I trust you guys. Uh, you go to the Uber app. Up it comes. You can see all of these black things here. They're all cars that are waiting to pick up passengers. I choose one that's close to me. There's one just up Fullerton Road, three minutes away. We set our pickup location. We request the driver. It's now requesting, looking for a driver to pick us up. Our driver here has accepted. So not only can I see where he is, he's only four minutes away. His name is Jason. There's his license number. And now he's on the way. Good thing about Uber is um, you, you know exactly who's getting into your car and the rider also knows exactly who's going to pick them up. They've got my contact details, they have the rego plate. Thank you sir. Gentlemen. All the cars are of this quality, they're all clean inside, the drivers are clean and tidy, they're always on time. You can follow the car on your phone to see where it is and where it's coming, how far away it's going to be. Alright, we've arrived at our destination. And one of the coolest things about Uber is that I'm here at Unley Oval and my work is done. There, it is a cashless system, which means there's no money, there's no change, it all is taken care of via your app. So me and Jason, thanks buddy, are uh, practically history. And I'm off to continue my day. I've got training here actually in the Sturch Reserves. Count the double blues. South Aussie with Cozzy has teamed up with Uber to make sure that your first ride in Uber here in South Australia is even more special. Have a look at this. Download the free Uber app right now and plug in the code word SA with Cozzy and you'll instantly receive $25 into your brand new Uber account. That makes your first ride even cheaper. It's the easiest $25 you'll ever earn, so download the free Uber app right now, punch in the code word SA with Cozzy and get on board and join the 1 million Aussies already using Uber. South Aussie with Cozzy. There are so many locations to go bushwalking in South Australia and so many of them are so close to the CBD. But when you talk to someone about where they go bushwalking, they always pretty much say the same thing. Yeah, waterfall gully, waterfall gully. There are so many more. So in the next four and a half, five minutes, I'll show you three crackers and we're going to start right here at Brown Hill Creek. We're currently at Brown Hill Creek Recreation Park and it's 8 k's from the city, it's part of the Mitcham Council and it's part of the Natural Reserve System of Adelaide and South Australia. We live locally so we thought we'd come down to Brown Hill Creek so we saw just down at Mitcham down the road the um, water flowing through the creek and thought we'd come down and um, just have a splash, it's, it beats being inside. James got the day off work which is really nice, we try and use those days off as a family and come down and just get a bit of energy released from these kids <laughs> so they're not inside watching TV all day. And you boys are pretty lucky to have mums and dads that go and take you out on all these things. What, yes. what do you love about it? What, what do you think is going to be cool about today? Just spending time with our family and to have, have a splash around in the water. Brown Hill Creek uh, Recreation Park was declared a national pleasure resort back in the 1840s and a lot of people came up here and they actually had uh, the creek dammed off for swimming and um, a lot of recreational activities happened up here. And the Ghana people used to use this for hunting and gathering and camping around this area, especially with the water flowing. 
I was a little bit worried because it's kind of raining and it's a bit cold and wintry and we're filming a segment on bushwalking. I thought, I might not even see anyone. Then I ran into Carlene and her group from ARPA. Now, what does ARPA stand for, first of all? Australian Retired Persons Association. How many people come out on the walks? Well, today we've got 26 yep. mad people that have come out in the rain, <laughs> yes. What do you love about this area? What's so good about bushwalking? Oh, I think it's just getting back to nature and, you know, the fresh air and the greenness. Oh, and having the company too, to yes. walk with this. You find you can walk further. What sort of people join the group? Oh. Push walkers. <laughs> anybody. It's, it's a, you know, anybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a fantastic idea. When I saw you guys walking up there, I think it's outstanding. And so many people just sit in their homes, don't they? And they, they don't do anything. And on a rainy day, they'll stay inside. You guys are out amongst it. You're either Where's incredibly they? stupid or, uh, or they're go-getters. I love it. So enjoy the walk, Carleen. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. There's two trails we have on both sides of the road. One's the Warra Paringa Trail, uh, which follows the creek line, and uh, the other one's just a shared use trail, which you can bring, actually bring horses up, uh, bikes, and it's just a really nice valley to come walking through beautiful native vegetation on one side and uh, just a flowing creek and also there's a couple of picnic areas and uh, there's one down the road a little bit and a lot of people come down here just for that quiet picnic. I won't say the oldest, I'll say the two most senior members of the group is Marie and Joan. Now girls, first of all, how old are we if you don't mind me asking? I'm 85 and I'm 84. I can't believe you are mid 80s. Uh, you, you, you look way, way, way younger and you're out in the environment like this and going for a walk. What's the secret? Keeping young. <laughs> just enjoy it. And I think what you guys have done, you've just got to make yourself a part of something, don't you? You've just got to do it because too many people sit back and do nothing. Well, it's better than being stuck inside on a day like this. Get out and enjoy it. I find both of you incredibly, incredibly inspirational and motiv you, you motivate me. I think it's great what you're doing and I wish you all the best of luck. I'll let you go and do your walk. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks girls. I'll Thanks. see you for your 90th. <laughs> oh, OK. Brown Hill Creek truly is nature's own theme park. I mean, take a look at it. And best of all, it doesn't matter whether you're eight or 80 as we saw the older walkers, this place is for everyone. But even better than that, it is totally free. Anybody can be a bushwalker of any age and any level of fitness. Doesn't cost you a cracker. It is perfect summer, autumn, even on the worst of the worst days like today, the place is still perfect. <laughs> we'll cut there. <laughs> Who'd go bushwalking? <laughs> Are those new shoes again? South Aussie with Cosby. South Aussie with Cosby. This is Morialta Falls and it is absolutely stunning. And a hundred years ago it was declared a national park. And thousands of years before that, the Ghana people, the Aboriginal people, used to love this area because of the abundance of beautiful water and the abundance of food. But why do you think over 300,000 people do the Moriata Walk every single year? Well, if you haven't done it, I'll show you why. Moriarty Conservation Parks located um, in the eastern suburbs of Adelaide, 20 minutes from the CBD and it's a 45 minute walk out to the falls, nice and easy, gentle slope, it's just beautiful gorge scenery. The falls are just magnificent when they're flowing, the native vegetation, uh, you can see orchids and if you come in the morning the bird life is just spectacular, you get the rosellas, the lorikeets, the New Holland Honey Eaters, it's just a beautiful, spectacular place that's right on the suburbs at your fingertips. We've just headed here from Gawler, so we come here every year and uh, it's good to go for a bit of a walk in the rain and see if we can see some koalas. It's a beautiful place to take the kids, it's nice and quiet and it's good to just get back to nature and switch off electricals and yeah, get in amongst the rain and the trees. 
What about your kids? Have you enjoyed it? Yes. I reckon Moriata is a bit of a hidden gem. So as most people in Adelaide are aware, like Waterfall Gully is a major tourist destination, but Moriata is really a more northern version of Waterfall Gully and it's a bit more hidden and not as many people know about it, but it's just equally as beautiful if you want to come and go for a waterfall bushwalk. And you can start off easy, do the walk to the first falls, and then you can even go up step further and do our larger hikes which is you've got second falls gorge walk and our grand third falls walk as well they're up to two and a half hours three and a half hours and they take you right up the top of the gorge give you beautiful views across Adelaide CBD and of the gorges and the waterfalls we've got a group of kids here are you, are you still classed as kids? I mean, you get to, when you get to as tall as me, I don't suppose you're a kid anymore. We've got some people here that have just done the Moriata Falls experience. What did you think of it? It was fun. Yeah. Wet. Fun and wet. Yeah. What did you do? We went through the rivery parts. Yep. We nice. climbed on the rocks. Yeah. Went in the big cave that's around there. Now I'm going to show you kids something, all right? We're going to need two volunteers, maybe you two at the end. Okay, you two come in here. Follow me, follow me, follow me. You two stand here, okay? Right, so you stand there, good, that's really good. Okay, cool. So what you do, when it's a wet day like today, and you're out bushwalking, it's perfect to do this. So you look at where they are, and then you just give the tree a bit of a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> the name is Moriata. I came from the Ghana word Moriata, which means ever flowing. So, you know, water flowing through this place all the time. The boys are doing the right thing, taking the kids for a walk, letting the wives have a bit of quiet time. <laughs> what, what was it like? Oh, it was good, it was, it was really beautiful. good. Yeah, it's beautiful, the waterfall's really, really nice, so it's great this time of year. How would you describe the area to someone that's not been up here before? Oh, I think this is brilliant. I think, you know, to be this close to the city and, you know, be, be up in the mountains or the hills with the fog and the rain, it's just beautiful. Yeah, yeah we're pretty lucky in that way, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. We're close to everything, so you can't argue with that, can you? Moriata Falls is loaded with hidden surprises like Giant's Cave, loads of walking tracks, bridges and awesome creeks. Oh yeah, and they even throw in complimentary koalas. Oh. Well I told you that I'd show you three great walking tracks around South Australia. This is another one, the Hallett Cove Conservation Park. And if you live anywhere near Hallett Cove, there's a chance you may never have been here yourself. The thing about this place is though, that not only are there some great walks, in, in fact there's five k's of coastline alone in the park, but the history here is unbelievable. They found over 1,700 Aboriginal artefacts here in this park. Plus, they found evidence that the Ice Age existed here in Australia some 280 million years ago. <laughs> Welcome to Hallett Cove Conservation Park. Uh, this is the Heron Road entrance, which is the main entrance uh, to the park. Uh, just behind me you'll see Black Cliff and the Glacial Pavement area, which is one of the main geological sites on the park. Hallett Cove Conservation Park has been set aside for the geological significance. It's one of the most important geological sites in South Australia, if not Australia. Uh, we've put it aside because we have what's called the amphitheatre, the Sugarloaf, Black Cliff, Glacial Pavements. It's just a geological site that you just would not believe. It's beautiful. How did the Sugarloaf get its name? Well, actually, it's pretty simple. Nowadays, we buy sugar in bags, but back in the heyday many, many moons ago, sugar was bought in basically lumps, which looked a lot like that behind us. Professor Ralph Tate in 1877 was walking along the Hallett Cove beach and climbed up onto Black Cliff and he saw this smooth and scratched surface and he recognised that as having been formed by ice sliding over these rocks and behind me are the red rocks which were deposited from melting ice, icebergs about 270 million years ago and all the rocks, the boulders you can see here, were dropped from the icebergs as the ice melted 
as was the light coloured and red coloured sediments. I bring hundreds of students a year down here and most of them, including their teachers, haven't been there. And I don't know why it's not better known. In the general population, it doesn't seem to be well known. And I, I don't know why. It's certainly known in the schools and in the universities, but not amongst the general population. Hallett Cove Conservation Park is a free day out for the whole family. It's also a bit of an education. We've got uh, signage throughout the park that teach you about the different geological formations. There's free parking and a cafe for mum to get a coffee afterwards. That's it for another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. I've shown you some cracking walks around South Australia, plus a heap of other gear that I hope inspires you to travel around this beautiful state. I'll leave you right here in Hallett Cove. Can you believe in amongst the southern suburbs of Adelaide, we have this beauty. It is gold. This is the Sugarloaf in the Hallett Cove Conservation Park. If you haven't been, get your butt down here. It's completely free. We'll see you on Facebook. We've got over 105,000 Facebook friends that are all South Australians, passionate about the place, just like me. I want you on board as well. And I guess I'll see you on the road somewhere. Bye-bye. In South Australia, we will go head away, holiday. The place is still perfect. <laughs> we'll cut there. <laughs> Who'd go bushwalking? <laughs> South Aussie with Cozzy is proudly brought to you by the South Australian Tourism Commission. South Aussie with Cozzy. I like bushwalking.